BPE stands for boosted innovation, optimized product value, and efficient engineering. Listen to what Roland Berger partner Wolfgang Bernhardt has to say about engineering globalization in the automotive industry. What will be the main trends influencing automotive engineering over the next few years? Basically, there are three major trends. First of all, there's a shift in sales from the developed countries to the emerging markets, to the brick markets, Brazil, India, China, Russia. That trend goes along with the shift of production, with the higher localization in these markets. Secondly, uh, from these markets we have a new demand, a demand for low budget cars, for cars which provide uh, a higher value for less money. And third, um, we have a lot of new technologies which are relevant for the automotive industry. It's new materials, new powertrain technologies, connectivity of the vehicle with the environment. And how does the rise of the brick markets impact industry? Um, very important is that these markets have special requirements. Special requirements which can hardly be fulfilled in uh, the developed countries. There are requirements with respect to technologies, think about infotainment demands in China, uh, where there is a much higher preference for a lot of fancy features in the car, but also requirements, as said, uh, related to the cost of the vehicle. Here the concept of lead market comes into place. Lead markets basically means to understand the requirements in the markets and to develop the solutions in the markets. And then these locally developed solutions need to be integrated in global architectures and platform to realize economies of scale. Basically that means for innovation, we don't only have to think about innovating at the right time, but also at the right place. That's very important for the future. Innovation is all about new technology. Which technology will be the most disruptive? Uh, I don't think this question can be answered easily. There is no disruptive technology in a way that tomorrow all cars are electric. Typically it's a gradual trend and these, all these trends are very uh, different in the different markets. But what is important is that we have to cope with a very broad portfolio of technologies and requirements in the future. And this is what the engineering organization needs to be built for. How can Roland Berger help engineering organizations cope with these challenges? Basically, we need to develop a new mindset. We need to come from global, uh, from global engineering, from global presence to global integration. We need to develop an organization which compromises of engineering centers in the different local hubs and the local markets. We need to distribute responsibilities between those engineering centers. We clearly need to define what is central, what is decentralized, as well as other topics. And finally, what do you think are the key success factors for automotive companies? Very important and one of the most important things in the future will be to define what is really core and what is non-core. What is the essence of the brand? What does that mean for our technology position, for our core competences? And where do we need to partner with third parties in order to realize economies of scale, to develop the new technologies and to bring them successful to the market?